So we need to look at equations of circles. And we're going to use GeoGebra to do that because it lets us draw some circles. So up here in the toolbar, we got some circles, tools. Uh, let's just start with the circle with center through point. Now I'm going to draw the circle over here. And then over here on the, this little tab on the left, uh, it says algebra up here. This is going to show up equations and coordinates. So let's put a circle right here. Just put it in there, boom. And here we see the equation for it. All right, so let's try a circle in the second quadrant. See what looks the same, see what looks different. All right, so we got uh, you know, something there. Let's go third quadrant, fourth quadrant. All right, so. Ah, da -da. So we look at the same, what's similar, it's got an X, a Y, an X, a Y, an X, a Y, an X, a Y. Alright, so they got X and Y in them. Simple, it's an equation. Um, they're inside parentheses with a minus, with a plus, with a plus, with a minus, with a minus, with a minus, with a plus. Okay, so that could be plus or minus inside the parentheses. Outside of parentheses, there's a consistence, consistency. It's squared. The parentheses are squared. Okay. How about with the Y? Let's go Y. It's got a square there. It's got a square there. Square there. Okay. So we got some squared stuff. Also, look at this. I put them in different four, all four different quadrants, but they all say plus. Oh. Okay. So X minus plus minus something then squared plus y, plus or minus something, then square, then equals some number. Now, the first one, you know, I made a certain size. I don't know how big it is. I just made it that big. And then the second one, which is this one, I made smaller, and this number's smaller. I made the third one even smaller, and fourth one even smaller. Um, so let's look at that. Let's look at C, circle C, which is this first one I made with AB. Um, as I make a, a B bigger, as I make the circle bigger, that number changes. As I make it smaller, the number gets smaller. All right. So apparently that has something to do with the size of the circle. All right. Well, if we know what a circle actually is, we understand what that's going to be because we know what the size of a circle is. Um, so let's make one right at the, right at the origin. So we look over here, it says x squared plus y squared equals 4. Well, I made this circle 2 in size, radius 2. Circle is defined by a radius. x squared plus y squared, we already knew that from up here because it said, you know, x plus or minus something squared, y minus something squared. Uh, okay. um, then the 4, I made it 2, it was 4. What if I make it three? Let's try another one. Uh, let's make it size three. Boom. Let's look over here on this side. It says nine. Let's make it size four. I don't know. Keep making the circles bigger. And it says 16. You should be seeing a pattern here. X squared plus Y squared equals four equals nine equals 16. Let's write the pattern down. It is, let's look over here, x squared plus y squared equals, what is the definition of a circle? It's the radius. So that right side is the radius squared. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Now some of this stuff, some of the x's and the y's have some pluses and minuses associated with them. Let's kind of get rid of everything and um, look at look at them again. Just look, let's look at one at a time. All right, so let's get, let's make a circle over here. We're gonna make a circle with certain radius. That way, it's not never gonna change size on me. We'll make it with certain radius two. Boom. Okay. All right. So we know that's gonna be four there because that's r squared. We made it radius two. It's r squared. But look at this minus two and minus two here. Does it have to do with the size of the circle or where the circle is? 
Let's move it. Uh, move it over here to 3-2. I'm going to move point A to 3-2. Look, A right here, 3-2. Look here, 3-2. Let's try it again. Let's go up to here. I moved A to 4-3. Look at what it says in the equation. 4-3. Let's come over here. Let's move A to negative 5 and 3. And this says plus 5 and minus 3. Uh, so apparently that has something to do with the center of the circle. Now it says plus 5 and plus 1. Oh, wow. Remember we can say that that can be plus or minuses? So apparently this thing with the X and with the Y is telling us where the center of the circle is. So let's put it over here. I put it at 3, negative 1. Look, I put A, the center of the circle, at 3, negative 1. And look what my equation says. X minus 3, Y plus 1. That 3 in the for, for A, the where the center of the circle is, that's the X coordinate. So that goes with the X. That negative 1 is the Y coordinate. So that goes with the Y. All right. So that's telling me where the center of the circle is. And this is telling me how big the circle is. Do it again. See, what if I put it over here? That's... Well, let's go set size one. How about that? Awesome. So I put B. If I put it over here at negative four plus two. So look here. It says plus four minus two. Yeah, they're kind of backwards. They're kind of reversed. Actually, what they are is they're kind of. You can either remember they're backwards, or remember they are how to get this circle back to the origin, back to zero zero. So let's start go with here. It says x plus 4. That would mean I would have to move the circle 4 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. And look what happened. It's now just x squared. And then I have to move it down 2. 1, 2. And look, it just says y squared. So that's equations for circles. We're going to have to go backwards with them and figure out how to put them where we want to put them.